Now to the frantic search tonight for possible survivors, though hope is dimming after that ferry boat disaster off South Korea. This evening, we are hearing from the captain now under arrest and word about that effort to pump air in in case there are any survivors still trapped inside. ABC's Gloria Riviera is there again tonight for us. Head bowed, the captain of that doomed ferry escorted into court today, as tonight we see the moments after he abandoned ship. This video shows him toweling off on dry land just after his rescue. Today he admitted he was not at the ship's controls when the accident happened. He also claimed he told passengers to stay inside because rescue ships had not arrived. That decision cost so many lives. Now, these two large buoys mark the spot of the deadly disaster. All day, the water's filling with rescuers 12 miles out to sea. A massive crane arriving, three more on the way, 169 rescue boats on the water, and 500 divers fighting rough seas. Two days after that boat went down, they are now entering the wreck through the cargo area, trying to reach the cafeteria, where many are believed to have been trapped. Rescuers began pumping air into the vessel in the hopes some people might still be alive. Their families anxiously huddled together in this makeshift shelter. All these families here, if you can see this and, and look right there, that's, they've just set up a 24-hour-a-day vigil waiting here for any kind of news. They watch the news, charge their phones, desperate for any scrap of information. At the high school, a vigil for the missing. The vice principal in charge of the trip committed suicide today, leaving a handwritten note saying, it is difficult to live when the lives of 200 are unknown. We are at the staging ground for search and rescue. You can see behind me the waters are calm, but one diver telling me the winds are still strong. That makes it tough for those diving teams continuing the search.